Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Yu's Reviews. Over the past few weeks, I've been re-watching the whole Rocky series, so I thought it would be a great idea to rank them all, including the recent Creed films. So here we go. Here's the whole Rocky franchise ranked from 8 to 1. Now in 8th place, in last place, is by far Rocky V. And that's because you spent the first four movies watching Rocky gain success, win, you know, all these fights, get a mansion, and be very humble about it. He's very humble about his fame and everything. But then in this one, it brings up subplots with Rocky getting brain damage and Polly losing like a lot of Rocky's money. So now Rocky and his family, they need to go back to where they started in Rocky 1. And where this would usually work uh, for some series, is, it doesn't work here because you just watch him like lose everything that he gained and that you've spent watching him gain for from the first movies. So now he's here like back to his first level and he has to like, he does street fighting uh, towards the end of the movie and it's just very unsatisfying and um, very disappointing when you look at the whole series. Coming in at seventh place is Rocky III. Now this one is significantly better than uh, the fifth Rocky, Rocky V. And although it's second to last place, I still think it's enjoyable, I, I like it. And you, you know, in the beginning you see Rocky get into more matches, he's getting more famous, so that was nice. Um, and Clubber Lang, he's a good villain because, you know, he's insulting Rocky and his family. So you want to see Rocky defeat him in the end. Though I wish they could have kind of gave Clubber Lang more of a backstory because you don't know too much about him. You just know he doesn't like Rocky, he wants to fight him. So they could have given him more, like, more of a reason. Um, but other than that, the highlight of this film is Rocky and Apollo's friendship as it's growing. Even though they were rivals in the first two, over here Apollo trains Rocky, he motivates him. So that's the shining part of this film that I really like. Coming in in sixth place is Rocky Balboa. And this is like the last Rocky movie before it goes on to the Creed movies. And Rocky is still in the Creed movies, of course, but yeah, it's like the last solo movie, and you see Rocky as he's a little bit wiser, he's a little bit older. He has his restaurant called Adrian's after his wife. Um, and there's a lot of good kind of drama in the film, seeing Rocky as he's older and what, what he's been through. So that, you know, once he starts training again, it just feels like you're seeing like an old friend uh, come back for like one last match. Um, one thing that could have been better though was the boxing part of the film is feels it feels a little bit rushed because a lot of it occurs just like towards the end of the film, his training montage and then the match. They're very close together towards the end. But I mean, other than that, the ending of this film is very resonating to the people who've seen the whole series. So it's a real nice addition to the franchise. Coming in at 5th place, we have Creed 2, which I have right there. Uh, this was a great sequel to the first Creed because it's Apollo Creed's son, Adonis Creed, fighting Ivan Drago's son. And because of what happened in Rocky IV, you know, there's a lot of tension between the Creed's and the Drago's. So you understand why Adonis Creed wants to fight, you know, Drago's son. But you also understand Rocky's point at first, kind of telling him, you know, you've already proven yourself, you don't need to fight Drago, Drago's son, because Drago himself broke stuff in me that hasn't been fixed. That's the line he uses. So you, you understand them, but a bigger prop I have to give to the film is how they flesh out the Dragos. Because in Rocky IV, you know, Ivan Drago, he's just a fighting machine, he's menacing. But in this one, they make him human. They give him, you know, more motivations. So you understand Ivan Drago and his son and what his son's going through as well, you know, being forced 
by his father to just get into boxing and always fight and always train. So overall, this was a very well-made sequel to the first Creed. At fourth place, we have Rocky II. And I gotta say, I love how the film begins, where both uh, Rocky and Apollo, they're in their own ambulances going to the hospital, and the camera is just following them. Um, and I, I just really enjoy the story. Rocky and Apollo, they're gonna have a rematch, so now they need to train all over again. And that match at the end is great. But a great highlight of this film is uh, how Rocky has broken Adrian from her shell. In the first movie, she was very shy and kind of under uh, her brother's control, Polly's control. So that's something I really liked here so, because now Adrian can motivate Rocky and they have a real great uh, relationship. So Rocky II was a real nice sequel to the first Rocky. We're now at the top three Rocky movies. At number three, I got Rocky IV, and I gotta begin with Ivan Drago. Such a menacing villain, in my opinion. His physical appearance looks like, uh, you know, he's made of iron. He punches real hard. One great uh, kind of thing that shows how strong he is is when Apollo, like, does this to Drago's hands and Drago's just firm still. So he's so menacing. Um, and I gotta give props to Dolph Lundgren who played him because he really gave, you know, he left a mark on people's minds and he's very memorable. Um, and he, Drago is willing to hurt anyone in his way, including Apollo Creed, Rocky Balboa, and more, as long as he gets his victory. So a great memorable villain is here. But another thing I just love about the film is it's so 80s. You know, the training montages have like, you know, the music that just pumps you up. This one has, I think, the best music since the first Rocky. Very memorable, very like inspirational. Um, and overall, just a very memorable film that I really love rewatching uh, and one that I think left an impact throughout the whole series because it, you know, you feel the ripple effects of this one even throughout the Creed films. So this is a great one, maybe even the most rewatchable out of all of them. Coming in at second place is the first Creed. What I really enjoy about this film is how you can feel the impact, the legacy of the Rocky franchise here. Adonis Creed, Creed's son, played by Michael B. Jordan, is wonderful here. You know, he gets into fighting like his father, into boxing. And Rocky here helps to train him. He helps him at training and learn how to become a great boxer. But, you know, what I even love more, what I love even more about this film is how you see Rocky you know, he's even older than he was in Rocky Balboa. He doesn't box, of course. And you see, you know, he feels like he doesn't have too much left in his life. No, everybody, you know, he's loved. They're not in his life anymore. But Adonis Creed comes into Rocky's life and kind of revitalizes it. So you just see Rocky once again get into the boxing area. Um, and help train Adonis. And I gotta say, Sylvester Stallone gives his best performance as Rocky uh, in this film. Because you just feel, you know, what he's feeling. He gives this emotional monologue to Adonis even. And it's just very memorable. And even Tessa Thompson as Adonis's like love interest. They're in a real nice supportive relationship. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So overall, this is one that, you know, it's resonating to the audience and you really feel the legacy that this franchise has had over time. And of course, in first place, we got the first Rocky. This is the one that started it all. It won Best Picture and it was written by Sylvester Stallone and of course, Stallone also played Rocky Balboa, and he was wonderful in this role. He's, out, he's also very subtle, 
because Rocky in this one, he is actually kind of shy, but he has a lot of heart when talking to Adrian, played by Talia Shire, who is also great in this film. Uh, in this one, she is really shy, but over the franchise, um, she learns to break her shell and support Rocky and just be in a great relationship with him, a supportive one. And Carl Weathers as Apollo Creed is one of my favorite performances in this film because he's very theatrical because Creed has been like a very famous uh, boxer in the film at the time so he gives you know like a lesser known boxer a chance which is Rocky so it's also an underdog story very inspirational the training sequences the montages uh, and the music they're all very memorable and overall, this has got to be one of the best sports movies, if not my favorite. Rocky One, of course, takes first place. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget your popcorn! Until next time, from Mr. You to you, stay tuned.